Governor Baker speaking out about the release of a convicted child rapist. Yesterday, Massachusetts' highest court says it could not block the release of Wayne Chapman, who served his sentence. But as WBZ's Anna Milo reports, the governor wants to make sure that this doesn't happen again. This guy should never get out, and I think it's unfortunate disgraceful in some respects that we find ourselves in this position. The Supreme Judicial Court has denied a petition that would keep Wayne Chapman behind bars, paving the way for the convicted pedophile to be released from prison. I was given a life sentence that day. I think the offenders should be given the same. After the petition was denied, a man who says he was raped by Chapman decided to share his story as a plea to keep the 70-year-old locked up. But if I can at least keep him off the street, at least he'll go to his grave knowing that I, I did something. When he ruined my life. I, I owe him that. Chapman was convicted of sexually abusing two boys from Lawrence and was also considered a person of interest in the disappearance of 10-year-old Andy Puglisi. He has spent the last 40 years behind bars, but last month, two psychologists determined he is no longer sexually dangerous. He exposed himself to a nurse on more than one occasion. This process has followed the law um, exactly as it was written, and the judge affirmed that. That's why Governor Baker hopes to change the laws. He plans to file legislation later this week. Number one, for serial child rapists to significantly expand the penalties associated with that. Uh, and number two, um, to change the way this process works. We won't be able to make it effective in the Chapman case, but we will be able to make it effective with respect to cases going forward, and I think that's equally important. A release date for Chapman has not been set. Reporting from Boston, Anna Myler, WBZ News.